Hi, I'm David Cranmer with Vontu Learning Network. Welcome to another episode in my series of videos where I address a concept within each of the chapters of Bixie's 13th edition TDMM. This week, we'll be looking at Chapter 5, Horizontal Distribution Systems, and talking about centralized optical fiber cabling. A centralized optical fiber cabling topology is based on the principles of a centralized optical fiber network when using recognized optical fiber cabling in the horizontal system to support centralized electronics and fiber to the desk technology. Centralized cabling provides connections from the work areas to the centralized cross connect by allowing the use of any of the following methods. The first, pull through cabling from the centralized cross connection. The second, interconnection cabling in a floor serving telecommunications space. And the third, spliced cabling in a floor serving telecommunications space. But I thought we were limited to 90 meters or 295 feet for every type of cable in the horizontal distribution system. So, how does this work? If you look at figure 519 in your TDMM, you'll see three different scenarios. The first shows a pull through in the TR and a total distance of 90 meters or 295 feet. So we're okay there. The second shows the cable interconnecting in a TR and then extending another 295 feet or 90 meters. The third shows the cable splicing in a TR and then extending another 90 meters or 295 feet. It's simple, really. In scenarios two and three, the cable from the ER to the TR is reclassified as backbone cable. Remember, though, that centralized optical fiber cabling is limited to use within a building and may not be used between buildings or across a campus. Now, for this week's question, I'm asking, what is the limitation for cable length in the pull-through method? Is it A, there are no limitations, B, 305 meters or 1,000 feet, C, it's application limited, or D, all of the above? If you don't know, I'll give you the answer next week. And the answer to last week's question is B, physical medium dependent sublayer. You can find that chapter 4, page 41 in your TDMM. To learn more about both our live and online RCDD and OSP review courses, or our upcoming outside plant design series, contact me at David C at Vontulearningnetwork.com, at my office at 813-321-5533, or visit our website at Vontulearningnetwork.com. So join me again next week for another chapter from the TDMM. And thanks for watching.